Is it time to buy or sell SPY ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into SPY. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, May 26, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 5, 2023, our system has ranked SPY as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.45. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 1.81%. This translates to an average return of 0.11% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The ETF lies in the middle of a narrow and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 6.32% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 2.93% and 7.7%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 4.17% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 8.81% and 10.03%. This translates to a price range of $383 to $462.15 after a year. Our latest daily update for SPY includes the headline, Green Day on Friday for SPY. The SPY ETF price gained 1.3% on the last trading day, Friday, May 26, 2023, rising from $414.61 to $420.02. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.33% from a day low at $415.25 to a day high of $420.77. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 2.05% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 4 million shares and in total, 78 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $32.91 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $431.73, and the lowest price was $348.11. Currently, the price is 2.71%, or $11.71, below the 52-week high, and 12.49%, or $59.96, below the all-time high on January 4, 2022, when the price reached $479.98. The following signals have been identified for SPY. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The SPY ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $416.65 and $412.53. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, May 4, 2023, and so far it has risen 3.68%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving Average Convergence Divergence, by Signal Pivots, by Signal 17 days ago Bollinger, by Signal 7 days ago Short-Term Moving Average, by Signal 2 days ago Long-Term Moving Average, Sell Signal 4 days ago The Relation Between the Short and the Long Moving Averages By Signal 41 days ago If we look at the 12-month chart we see Short Moving Average, Sell Signal 4 days ago The Long-Term Moving Average, by Signal 46 days ago the relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 41 days ago. 
Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SPY On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $389.28 and $385.91. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SPY finds support just below today's level at $389.28. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $385.91 and $385.36. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $5.52 between high and low, or 1.33%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 0.98%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, SPY encounters its first support level at $389.28. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $398.99, minus 5.01%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 16 days ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for SPY ETF to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, May 30th, we expect SPY to open down minus $1.34 and start trading at $418.68. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.